Duncan and I'm with Duncan House Creative and today we're going to do this acrylic tutorial on how to paint a pineapple, okay? We're going to be using acrylic paint, Liquitex acrylic paint, just a medium body acrylic paint. Um, we're going to be using acrylic paper, which uh, just is kind of, it's basically a thicker, kind of like a watercolor paper. It's a thicker type paper, but it does have a texture to the top of it, which helps the acrylic paint adhere to it. Um, we're going to be using a palette. Here's my palette of acrylic paint here. Um, a flat brush or an angled flat brush, whichever you have, and some washi tape and some clean water, okay? So let's um, jump into our tutorial. It's pretty easy. Uh, it's um, pretty simple. We are going to be mixing some colors, so that might be something that might be a little bit more time consuming for you. So if you have any difficulty with that, just feel free to use that pause button and push pause and don't feel like you have to necessarily keep up with me the whole time, okay? All right, we're going to go over our steps that we're going to take to do our pineapple. For our pineapple today, and this is a very abstract pineapple, okay? We're not we're not painting a pineapple that's supposed to look like a pineapple. I mean, obviously you should look at it and know it's a pineapple, but it's very abstract, cartoony looking pineapple. Um, we're going to draw out our pineapple using a pencil, just very rough sketch. You don't have to worry about being an artist. Don't worry, I'll walk you through that. We're going to paint the background first, and then we're going to paint the, um, the yellow part of our pineapple and then we're going to paint the top part and then we're going to paint the little details on top of the yellow part of the pineapple okay it's a very easy step-by-step -step method um don't worry you can do this all right and the, the biggest part of this is just to have fun you're just having fun you're getting creative at home um and you're learning something new i hope so i'm glad you're here with me um, and I can't wait to share this space with you. Let's dive into our lesson. Um, to start, I'm going to get everything kind of lined out here. I'm going to use my washi tape and I'm going to, you also need a paper towel handy if you don't have one. Mine's a little wet, which helps. You're going to open your washi tape and tape down your paper. Now I'm taping down all four sides of my paper pretty uniformly. Um, so, like this, like so, like so, okay, yep, okay, just like that. What happens when we tape our paper down is it makes our paper stay flat. Um, which is nice, and it, then it makes our paper, uh, our lines really clean, which makes your work look really professional, I promise, so kind of fun. Okay, now I'm going to draw my pineapple with a pencil. I forgot to say that in our um, stuff, but you're going to need a pencil, and for that I'm just going to draw an oval, kind of at the bottom part of my paper. Okay, it's not a centered over, oval, it's down just a bit, and then I'm going to start adding the little... I don't know spiky spiky details I guess you would say and they don't have to be perfect don't worry now there is one or two that come down so you know add those in there maybe have some like that okay that's it you don't have don't worry about being perfect on it I added one two three four five six seven kind of going up and three kind of coming down. All right. Okay. Now we're going to paint it. All right. We're going to paint our background first. Now I'm going to get, I like to get my brush just a little wet, just to kind of wake up the bristles a bit. And then I have a piece of styrofoam here to mix my, um, paint on. And honestly, it's just because it was the closest thing to me. Um, I use most of the time a paper plate, but I don't have a paper plate with me right now. You can also use foil. You can also use wax paper. You can also use, um, a plate or just a regular plate as long as you wash it immediately afterwards, uh, to mix your paint. Okay. We are going to do some mixing in this 
and it is important. Now I'm going to pull some pink over to my paper and then I'm going to wet my brush and kind of dry it off. Okay, and get some of that pink off and then I'm going to pull some white over to my mixing place and then I'm going to pull some yellow kind of this I don't you know I need to see what these colors are <laughs> I'll put them in the notes below okay because it is important for you to know what they are okay and then I'm going to mix this up into like a nice little peachy color some of my my brush has a, a stray hair on it sometimes that happens I'm gonna mix some of this white into it. And the reason why it's important that you pull um, the colors onto your mixing plate is because then you're not going back into your palette to get paint and then contaminating the rest of your, of your stuff, right? So I'm just going to start by kind of outlining this and I'm gonna pull this paint in one direction off of my paper just like that okay I'm just pulling my paint in one direction and I'm just gonna kind of paint most of this here like this like that and then um, I like to make sure I kind of go in one direction like I said I'm going to kind of come in here and just get some pink and then like pull this in and I'm just going to add some dimension to my paint with just adding those straight colors into, into it too. Okay. And I'm going to, don't worry, I'm going to blend all that in. So to kind of get my brush just a little bit wet. I like my paint to be able to move around. Sometimes acrylic paint can get a little bit um, dry for me. I tend to work with watercolor more. So I like the um, kind of a wetter paint. You can also get a medium if you don't want to ever add water to your paint. There's lots of things people, people do there. I'm going to add a little bit of white in here. Like this. There we go. It's looking good. Oh, it's looking great. Now this is kind of the hard part are these little sprigs of green I just kind of sometimes your brush too can accumulate paint there at the top and I just kind of rub it off Go up like that and don't worry like here I kind of covered where I want my green sprig to go I'll just paint right over that don't worry about it Okay, now notice on my painting really quick, and I'm gonna look over it real quick. It's hard for me sometimes when it's down. Now, notice here, I'm gonna have to paint green over some of this. It's totally fine. Bring down the pink there. And notice that my edges are not clean. That is okay. I'm gonna kind of clean all that up here in a minute whenever I start um, adding in the detail. Now, if you want to get out a smaller brush, if you have a smaller brush, you can use a smaller brush for some of the details. Um, I'm just going to use the same size brush. I have a medium brush. It actually is a size 10, it says. Um, and this isn't a super great brush. This is just really like a classroom grade brush. You can buy really nice brushes at Michael's or Hobby Lobby or 
Blick. There's all kinds of art stores that sell really great brushes that get you a really smooth look. Now I'm taking my yellow. I'm just going to paint the interior of this pineapple. There's so many cute little phrases with pineapples too, you know, like um, if you look them up on the internet. Like stand tall and let your crown, I don't know, something about standing tall and having a crown, I don't know. I'm not really personally into pineapples, but I know a lot of people are. Okay, so there's my pineapple. Now that that is just my base layer. That's going to get covered up really a lot, so don't worry about making it perfect, okay? I say that a lot, but really, don't worry about it. Okay, I'm just going to dry my brush off that way. Okay, now I'm going to pull some of my green over. I'm going to pull some of my blue over, and I just cross-contaminated that, and I knew I would do that. I shouldn't have done that. Um, and then I'm going to make kind of a... There's a nice dark green. Um, a light green. I'm going to pull some of my white over, maybe even some of this yellow, some of this, and just kind of make a light, a light green for my base layer, okay? And with this base layer, I'm just going to paint where I want. I'm going to use the flat edge of my brush and I'm just kind of using that and coming in and coming out like that, okay? And then I'm using my paint to just fill in here. And I'm not really worried about um, about it being perfect because I'm going to put two or three layers on top of this. So. Hmm. It's going to kind of bend down a bit. <laughs> there. I'm just kind of doing triangles. And there, there we go. There's my first layer. Now for my next layer, I'm going to go in a little darker. So I'm going to bring some of my blue over here and I'm going to make a darker green. Okay. And we're all, this is called adding value. Whenever we add different depths of color to something, we're adding value to it, okay? So here I'm just going to come and I'm going to kind of go on the top of all of these leaves and I'm just going to add kind of a layer of dark, dark green. And I'm just adding dimension. That's all I'm doing. Now, I'm going to kind of wipe that off. Wipe this off. And I'm going to come in with a third color of green. I'm going to come in with just a straight kind of lime green. I'm going to go and just add kind of a line on top of there. And this is just adding some, remember? value to my piece, adding some value, and then I might even go in here just with some white. It's just kind of, I don't know, go where you feel like going. Sometimes we just go where it takes you. I'm going to add some white. Sometimes you can kind of come down into the creek. 
pieces with these white, the white. Kind of add some. There you go. Okay, we're almost done with the top. All we have to do is we're gonna mix just a little bit of purple <clears throat> and add that to the top of it and then we're going to add the details to our pineapple, all right? <clears throat> so I'm gonna mix some purple, just a little bit of pink over here, a little bit of blue. The blue really overwhelms the pink, doesn't it? There you go gonna mix some purple and then I'm gonna put that on the top of all my leaves just a thin line just a thin line that's it that's it Okay, I'm going to mix up just like a lighter yellow, so I'm going to use my white, the rest of my white here, with my yellow, and I'm just kind of mixing up a lighter yellow. Now I'm going to do, oh wait, just a second, I'm not going to do that first. We're coming back to that. We're coming back to that. Okay, start over. Okay, we're going to start with our dark green, and we're going to put one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, about eight or seven, eight, nine little dashes. One, we're going to do them kind of diagonal, two, three, then two, and then, oh, I'll do one more right there. So I did eight, okay? That is where I'm gonna put my little, you know, pineapples have those little triangle or diamondy kind of shape things. We're going to use that kind of as a very loose interpretation of those. After that, we're gonna mix up some white with just a tinge of this yellow. Okay, not straight white. We wanna mute it just a bit with the yellow. We're going to kind of come down a little bit and do little squares right off the green, okay? Just like that. And I'm just using the length of my brush. Now, you don't want to come off the pineapple. You want to kind of stay on the pineapple like right there. You don't want to come off of it. So now I kind of have these little diamond shaped um squares here. Okay, now I'm going to dry my brush off and I'm going to use some blue, just straight up blue here. You can maybe even mix it with some purple. I'm going to mix it with some purple. Where's my pink? I'm going to use purple. If you want to use blue, that's okay. I'm going to get my brush just a little wet and wake this paint up. And then I like to just kind of do a little like line right there, diagonally, in the middle of those little white dots. Okay, there we go. All right guys, we're done. We're, we're seriously done. Um, I gotta wash this brush. It's full of paint. Okay, now it's time to reveal, our big reveal. Now, this is pretty much dry, so I'm just gonna take it off. Um, the background especially, but if you want to give yours more time to dry, please do so, okay? I'm just going to peel this off, one little tape layer at a time, like that, like so like that, as Miss Tabitha says on Instagram, if you don't follow her, she's amazing, she's hilarious. Um, okay, and I accidentally peeled off just a little bit right there, shoot. Well, I'll fix it later. Kind of blends in. Okay, I'm done. What do you guys think?
Hey, here's my little pineapple. Isn't she cute? So, such a cute little abstract pineapple. Now remember, it's just abstract, okay? It doesn't have to be perfect. Someone will look at that and know that it's a pineapple. All right, um, it would be a cute little card for you to make and mail to someone. Here's here's another one right here. Um, I have three of them. I can make a little pineapple study if I wanted. Um, it would be a cute little card for you to send to someone or if you framed it and put it somewhere fun. I always tell people whenever I teach art classes, I'm like, always frame your stuff. Let me tell you where to put it, in the bathroom. Because framed art in the bathroom um, people notice it. People notice it, okay? And you don't ever think about putting it there. And you might not want this, like, in your living room, obviously. Um, and when you do have company, let's pretend it's not COVID, uh, a lot of people go in your bathroom, and you would be amazed at how many people walk out and go, oh, I really like that little painting you have in there. You can say, yeah, I did that. So, anyways, just a little tip. All right, guys, that's it for today. Thank you for joining me here. It's always a pleasure to paint with you um, and to be creative. I just really appreciate your um, interest in what we're doing here, and we really, really appreciate it. All right, we have a lot of awesome stuff lined out for 2021. We have um, some great art classes with some ladies here in different shelters in D.C. that we fund, and I teach, so when you're watching this program, you're also funding that. Um, and any purchase you make off of our website, Duncan House Creative also funds that program too. So thank you for your help and your participation. All right, we'll see you next time.